Hello from the Forstronics YouTube channel. Welcome to how to remove solder bridges. So if you're unfamiliar with solder bridges, it's essentially when you get a bridge of solder between two pins, creating an electrical connection where you don't want it. And so here's two examples. Here's you know a through hole example, and here's an example with surface mount components. Now this through hole example, if they're big enough, basically take a hot solder iron tip, run it through the middle, and you can typically get rid of the bridge. But these, when you're talking about surface mount components, small pins, they can be a little more intimidating. But I'm going to show you in this video, they don't have to be. They're actually pretty easy and straightforward to remove. And I'm actually going to show you using this example that you're seeing circled in red. This is a board I'm working on using the SAM D21 chip that's basically the same chip on the Arduino Zero. But this is a zoomed in picture. These are actually pretty small pins. Anyway, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to remove those. Let's get started. Okay, the supplies we're gonna use for this video. First, we, starting from the left, going to the right, we have our isopropyl alcohol. Now I'm using alcohol or isopropyl alcohol that's targeted for first aid applications because another name for it is rubbing alcohol. Now you can also buy sort of industrial grade versions of this that are much pure isopropyl alcohol. Like in the industrial version will be like 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. When you buy the first aid version, which you know is fine, if you're a maker and you're just doing this at home, who cares? But you wanna try to get the higher percentage. So a lot of times they'll sell at 70%. This one is 91%. So try to look for the, the higher percentage of alcohol if you're buying this. And we're gonna use this as a solvent and you'll see that in the video. Then for a magnifying device, if you're working with really small pins, you're probably gonna want some type of magnifying device, whether it's magnifying glasses or what I'm showing here in this box is actually you know, one of these really thin cameras with, with 200 times zoom and they actually have lights built in. So these are real nice if you work on with a lot of small components. They hook up to your computer and you can record the video. And actually, I'm going to use this to record this, the example when I show it to you. But these are real cheap. They're like 40 bucks on Amazon. Next, we have the solder flux. This is an important part of this, so make sure you don't leave this out. This is going to help the solder flow off the bridge or off the pins into the solder wick. And that's what I'm showing here. This, this is a thing of solder wick. It basically comes out as this fine braided, I guess it's copper, but it acts like a sponge and it's gonna suck up that unwanted solder. Then here I'm showing a bristle brush. We'll use that for cleaning. You know, if you don't have a firm bristle brush, you could just take a like a small paint brush and cut off a lot of the bristles so you get to the bottom of it where it's a little firmer. Then here I'm just showing a thin solder iron tip. So basically I want a thin tip because I'm working with real small pins. Then I'm gonna need uh, something to clean off the flux using the alcohol. You could use a chem wipe. Once again, that would be the preferred method. But if you're just doing this at home, a paper towel is gonna be fine and that's what actually what I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna use a Q-tip to apply the solder flux. Okay, so that's what we need. Let's take a look at the video. And I'll, once again, the video is gonna be shot from this magnifying device. So keep in mind, you're looking at a zoomed in video when we go through this. Okay, here we are with the chip that you saw in the beginning. Actually, I have solder bridges on two sides of this chip. Uh, so I'm just gonna show an example of getting these two off on this one side. If you're new to doing surface mount components and you want to know how to do that, or if you want to know how to use a stencil to help you lay chips like this one, uh, I have two videos on that. When I use the stencil for this chip though, I think I got too much solder paste on two sides because I basically got two or three bridges on each side. So something to watch out for. Now, if you're new to that, new to this, you might say, oh my gosh, I just wasted all that time because how am I going to get these little bridges off? But actually, you're going to see that it's actually pretty easy. Basically, you're gonna see me come in with the Q-tip and I have a bunch of solder paste, or excuse me, not solder paste, solder flux on it. And you know, don't be shy with the solder flux. It's actually pretty important to this process. So you can see I pretty much gooped it onto these two bridges. And we're gonna use the alcohol later to clean it off, so don't worry about that. You can see I actually got some on these components here, but the flux is a key part of this. So we got the flux on. Next, I'm gonna come in with the solder wick. So remember, this is like braided metal, and it's gonna serve as a sponge to pull that solder off of there. So here I'm kind of sizing it up. I'm gonna bring it back 
over in a second and then maybe I'll pause it for a minute. Okay, here it comes. So the whole idea here is the flux really helps the solder flow when it gets heated. And the wick, remember, solder's attracted to heat. So the wick, I'm gonna put my solder iron on top of the wick and the wick with the flux is gonna cause the solder to flow up into the wick and because the wick's braided, it sort of acts like a sponge and keeps it there, pulling it off the pins, breaking the bridge that I don't want to be there. So let's see it in action. And keep in mind, when you're watching this, I'm trying to look at the video and at what I'm doing at the same time. So look at that. You can see how this turned to the, the color of solder. So you can see it just touching it a little bit with the tip really gets the flow. Now, be sure to use the flux because I have seen people try to do this without the flux and it will not work well. If you have the flux though, it, it works like a charm. So I touch it a couple times. You can see there's still one bridge in the middle. Uh, I, I get it off right around here when I sw swipe it through. Now one thing I accidentally do is I, I accidentally solder the wick to the pin. So I kind of have to bring it over there again and pull it off. So there we go. One thing I want to show. So I'm just showing the solder inside the wick. Notice the bridges are gone. Now you might say, oh, what is that discoloration by the chip? Did you damage it? No, it's just really the flux that got onto the chip and we're gonna have to clean that off. But with those quick little swipes, and you can see a close up picture here, those bridges are gone. So that was pretty quick, pretty easy. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is clean off the flux. You don't wanna leave it there because it can cause shorts between the pins. And so what I'm doing now is I'm putting a little bit of the alcohol on a piece of the paper towel. I zoomed out a bit so you can see it better. And I'm just going to wipe around there. And, and the alcohol acts like a solvent. So it's going to break up the greasy flux. And then it'll, you know, some of the flux will wipe onto the paper towel. And then what's nice about the alcohol is it'll evaporate really quickly. So it doesn't leave anything behind. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the bristle brush. I'm going to apply some alcohol to the bristle brush and really dig into the pins to get that flux in between the pins out. I think I put a little too much alcohol in this example. You probably don't need this much. You can see I laid the paper towel over the chip and now I'm just digging the brush into the pins just to try and push out that paste or break up that paste that's in between the pins. So I did that. I wipe it off again. And then I'm going to do it again and just to clean it off. But this is the importance of the alcohol. You know, you can put as much flux as you want, but you got to make sure you break it up and get it off with the alcohol. So I'm going to do one last wipe down. And then, you know, we're pretty much done. It's gone. And I can tell you I tested it and it's working fine. So you can see actually not difficult at all to uh, remove small solder bridges. That's it for how to remove solder bridges. If you have anything to add to this video or any questions, use the comments section below. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have some time, check out forcetronics.com. We have a store there. And also if you're interested in using Forcetronics contracting services, you can go to the website for information on that. Thank you for watching.